<laughs> There's a strange meal served up at the campus YMCA at the U of I today. Not exactly oh, your tradition. There's crazy things going on with this teleprompter. I'll tell you what, folks. <laughs> hey, uh, crazy stuff absolutely going on. Folks whipped up some creative dishes based on book names and voila. Voila. The Edible Book Festival. It's really just an event for fun. People make books or they make things that are allude to books or about books out of food. We display them, we photograph them, so we have a record of them on the web, and then we eat them. Uh, the books that I chose for this are Broken For You, which is a book that, was, that we read in my book group, so it was a book I was familiar with. And the other book that I chose is Unbroken, which has been a bestseller in the last few years and something I had at home and I was ready to read, but I was struck by the fact that they were sort of opposites for each other. And I realized that uh, Broken For You immediately suggests broken bread. <laughs> it does suggest communion. So I thought I could use that as a play on words. And use an unbroken loaf of bread on a little bread tray here. So I baked bread over the weekend and thought that this would be a nice little display for the book fair. And I have entered this several times in the past actually and I always consider it so much fun to see what other people are doing with their books too. This is a popular children's book, It's Okay to Be Different by Todd Carr. And what we really wanted to do was find two pages that captured the ideas the best. So the first one we picked was It's Okay to Be a Different Color, and so we put the little zebras together. And then the other one was It's Okay to Be from a Different Place, and we have a little Martian coming from a different place. A couple of judges here, Glenn and Dan. Uh, first, sir, uh, why don't you tell me kind of what you were looking for in some of these works and what you found interesting? Well, I've looked at the show over uh, several years and always enjoy uh, trying to find clever ways that people use food uh, to express themselves or express an idea. And so I, I really look for the visual things are what attract me the most. And uh, how about you? Are you looking for perhaps the most appetizing, the best book, the best appetizing portrayal of the best book? I think the appetizing portrayal of the best book, but also what I'm looking for is the best play on words. I like the idea when people use puns and they're having uh, to work with um, words in their t inside the, the creation. I think to me that's, that's the best part. Were you a fan then of the Wrinkle in Time suggestion oh, yes. out there? Oh yes, the Wrinkle in Time, the Telltale Tart, all of those, perfect. So many delicious reads to choose from. Hunger Games, A Wrinkle in Time, The Sucret Garden, even Baby's First Book but the fan favorite was Corduroy. We're here with our People's Choice winner, Jenna Zeidler with Corduroy. This is an amazing creation. Tell us how you came up with this. Thanks. Well, um, I was sort of stuck for an idea and I couldn't think of anything. I knew I wanted to do a kid's book. Um, so on Friday, it finally came to me, watermelon. <laughs> it already looks kind of like Corduroy's overalls because it's, you know, green and white striped. And then I just added the the um, corduroy pattern with the zester. And so there you go. What a, you got plenty of fruits and veggies on here, though. Take us through what some of the other uh, pieces of this are. Yep, he is made out of a watermelon. Um, his head is a cabbage, and he's covered with kiwi skins. His snout is an apple. He's got potatoes, arms, um, squash buttons, and then the black pieces are avocado skin. Now I'm starving. <laughs> yep, he's kind of like a salad. He's like a, a big bear salad. Whew, all this reading, and I've worked up an appetite. Right, so I'm snuggled up with a couple of fine literary works here. We have The Frog Prince and Black Girl, White Girl. Uh, a couple of great reads and a couple of great looking desserts. Mm, love a happy ending. That was so much fun. I want to apologize real quick. Glenn uh, Davies, it said Davis on there. That's my bad little typo. Speed typing. You know me, I get going. Okay, so a lot of uh, really interesting names for those yeah. entrants today. Joe Barlow and I were out there, and we were coming up with, okay, next year we want to enter something. First, we need a great name or a great idea. So I'm going to give you the name of our dish that okay. we came up with. We've got a few of them here, and I want you to try and identify the book. Okay. Okay, I think this first one's pretty easy, but, but maybe. Okay, so the first one, Crepes of Wrath. 
Grapes of wrath. There you go. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. So we have maybe some grape crepes. That's a good wrath. one. Okay, okay th this one I think is easy too. Oh, Charlie's and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Ding, ding, ding. So maybe like a, the potato soup is famous there yeah. and the bread. Okay. Um, this one a little more challenging. Okay. Steak Expectations. Great Expectations. Nailing yeah. these. She was worried that I was going to stump her. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. Ketchup and the Rye. Catcher in the ride. There you go. All right, last right. one. This is a, a collabo, as the as the kids say, between Joe and I's ideas, and this is the best okay. one. Of rice and Cornish game hen. Of <laughs> mice and men. There you <laughs> nailed them. We thought we'd get you with one of them. Yeah. I love that. Of I'm, rice. I used to be a teacher, so <laughs> there you go. I guess that's my excuse. Of rice and Cornish game hen. I love it, and that would be like that'd be a pretty that'd good be a dish. Good one. I mean, you could just make that for dinner tonight. Yeah. Good stuff. That corduroy though was really cool. That was really Very really cool. neat. And the big cake, uh, Prince and the Frog, or the Frog Prince, uh -huh. um, took him four days to do it. You didn't really have anything to like scale it in that shot there. This thing was huge. It was like two full-size cakes, like each side of the book, and then the huge frog. Everything on it was edible. Mm -hmm. Took him four days to do that. I was just so impressed by wow. some of the workout. And there. they do this every year. Every year. This is the That's seventh cool. year, I believe, of it. So, all yeah. right. Well, if you want to see a list of the entrants in this year's festival or all of the entrants from years past, you can check them out on our website, which we will have a link to along with the replay of this story after today's show on our website.